Hi, this is Eric. This is my garage. I am the Grey Goat. You're in the Grey Goat garage. And I'll let you know that that's powered by OMBWarehouse.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how we are setting up a torque converter unit for the Coleman bikes that come with what everybody says is a 5 8 inch crank, which is actually a 16 millimeter crankshaft. So, so many people want to use a sleeve on this and a 3 quarter inch unit. However, the key is integral to the driver stationary sheave and you won't have good engagement with the crankshaft if you just try and use a sleeve and a three quarter inch um, torque converter unit. So what we've done is we've developed a sleeve that's going to go over this shaft. It's gonna positively index with the key in the crankshaft and give you the one inch opening for the the quarter inch opening for the one inch torque converter. Okay, so here's how we get all of that installed. I'll have you focus in on this area right here. So to install our kit, it comes with our engineered adapter, this little tiny stepped set screw, a washer, and a key that's 3 16 inch wide by one quarter inch wide and that's going to drop in to this section of this unit. But before we put this on, we have to put a washer onto the crank and just let it sit there. Now what I'm going to do is install the open end of this spacer onto the crankshaft with the open end facing out. I can drop my key in here and then I'm going to take this set screw that is stepped on the end and get this started. Don't be alarmed if your crank is sitting inside, just as long as we have some engagement with this set screw into the keyway on that crank, that's fine. Not, not a big deal there. So we're just gonna snug this down and that's gonna keep that unit on that engine. This washer inside here is gonna keep the heavy, gonna, gonna keep the heavy steel bushing from dropping onto the crank itself. So once we have that installed, we can start installing the rest of the unit. The issue with this key is Coleman, the only consistent thing about their crankshafts and their products is the inconsistencies. Some of these cranks have a five millimeter keyway versus the standard 3 16 If your key is not dropping in, you may wanna file the edge of your key down so this falls straight below the surface of this adapter and firmly locked to the crank okay so we'll put our heavy steel bushing on that comes in it's included with the kit and now we can put the stationary pulley on there you're going to notice that the alignment on this is dead on um, took a lot of time and engineering to get all these components right so now that we have this done we can take and put our belt on and the flat side of the belt always goes towards the engine. So we're just gonna wrap this around this driven unit. And now we have to kind of pull this on and I like to rotate them on. So, and you'll see that the, the, the driven unit is still loose. We're gonna fix that here in a second. So once the belt's on, and please note that the one inch torque converters do not use a bronze bushing on the hub here. Um, they've, they've never come that way. If you don't have one in your kit, that's because they've never come that way, okay? So now we can finish assembling the torque converter. With this hub here, you're gonna notice that there's two distinctly different ends. One end has a step machined in it, and the other end is flat. The flat end goes onto the crank adapter. Now we put in the movable sheave or the angled pulley. We can get our drum assembled and indexed with that inner hub, put the heavy steel stepped washer in, and then take the provided six millimeter bolt and screw it into the crank. We need this to be tight, but not, not to where you're gonna break things or strip threads. So we're just gonna lock this down like that. 
And then the driven unit, these always come loose. On the back end of the shaft, there's a snap ring. And we can't get that too tight. We just want it snug to remove all the play from this unit. So 15, 16 socket. Once you have everything together, you can get this tightened down. Just so it's tight, there's no play in this unit. And that's all it takes. You want to focus on me now? I'm Eric. I am the Grey Goat. This is my garage. You can always email me for help at help at ombwarehouse.com. I'm always there to help you. And uh, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, or if I can help you with anything, just send me an email. Help at ombwarehouse.com. I am Eric. I am the Grey Goat. And I'm out.